Hey, this is Shobit from Intentional Product Manager. Today, we'll be talking about the three habits you must let go, you must give up to be a successful product leader. Stay tuned for more. Let's start with Habit number one, owning the solutions. For some reason, product managers have been given this impression that they own the ultimate solution to the problem. They must define every single aspect of what goes on in the product, how it works, how it functions, how the database is, and so on and so forth. At the end of the day, you are responsible for the outcomes. But the fact is, that as a product manager, you don't have to define each and every aspect of the solution. For example, the UX. Yes, you must be the reviewer, the editor, the person who ensures that you understand your customers' needs, their workflows, and make sure that the product aligns with their workflows. But at the same time, you gotta enable others to contribute to this. Your designer, your UX designer really knows about what sort of products or what sort of design patterns work. Your engineers know about what are the right databases to use. What should the architecture look like? Don't get in their way. It might have worked when you were responsible for a single feature, for a single product, for you to go and uh, really control these details, contribute to the detail level. But as you become a product leader, where you are starting to mentor other PMs, where you're starting to define the strategy, like all those things that are happening, you just cannot hold on to those things. So first thing you must let go is the need to own the solution. The second thing also very related, which is owning and communicating all the details. So I'll give you an example uh, that I often face. So when I often chat with junior product managers, you know, I'm trying to understand some of the aspects of their role. So I'm like, hey, tell me about this. So they would do what we call depth first communication, which is, you know, if I ask them about, let's say, hey, what does your product do? They give me everything. This is a UI, this is where the customer comes in, here's where they enter, whatnot. Well, I was looking for the headline. I was looking for, hey, my product is something that helps insurance agents at large Fortune 500 insurers quickly determine the rate that they must charge for customers who follow a certain criteria. You know, like I made up all this stuff here, but the idea was I was looking for the headline. They are so used to both communicating and dealing with details, they, they cannot bring up the big picture. So the habit that you must let go is living and communicating in details. Instead, the habit you're trying to replace it with is talking through the big picture and communicating with the big picture in mind. If you don't have this, nobody has this confidence that, look, you can be that product leader, the person who defines the strategy, who leads the strategy, who shapes the strategy, a person who can also monitor, coach, and, and like help other product managers succeed. So living in details, you've got to get rid of that. Habit number three is self-doubt. You know what people call the imposter syndrome. What is self-doubt? It's just that assumption that I'm not worthy of that bigger title, that bigger goal, that bigger outcome, more income, whatever you want. I'm not worthy of that. When that happens, what I see is that it manifests itself in several different ways, but more than anything, it manifests itself as self-sabotage, where people had a straight path towards success, and they just like sort of do something that's so out of the ordinary. It's almost like they sabotage their success. They had that straight path. And what needed to happen at that point was for them to drop the self-doubt, just like keep going on that path. But it made them uncomfortable and so they did something. Like, I'll give you an example. Like, one of my clients doing very well in all interviews and then completely bombed the interview with the chief product officer. And it was not a difficult interview. It was a very simple interview. But just like, you know, getting close to a goal, to like a position that they were uncomfortable with, that self-sabotage filled in. 
The other thing that I notice happens when people are having this habit of self-doubt is procrastination. For example, let's talk about working on strategy. Seen a lot of product managers, now they're asked to do this presentation and they don't even begin until two days before. And why is that the case? You know, they told me, look, I just didn't have time to do it. There were all these things that were there. But really when I dig in, what I find is that they put all those things on their plate for them to do something so that they don't have to work on that presentation so that they can put it off. Like, you know, they were doubting themselves. So they were creating things that moved them back to the zone of comfort, which was like owning the details and, and doing all those things and not really spending time working on that big picture vision. And then no doubt then the presentation to the manager was just like bad. It just was not successful. This is why across all programs, intentional job search, product leader blueprint, working on your mindset, and for you to building this strong belief that you are worthy of the thing that you're after is one of the fundamental things where we help people get to the next level is like changing that mindset. So three habits you must give up to become a successful product leader, owning the solutions, owning and communicating in the details and self-doubt. And look, if you are ready to give these up, I invite you to book a call with us and look forward to speaking with you very soon.